Hey everyone, it's Alessandro Brooks from Home Chef Seattle. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a delicious green bean dish. This is a different take on your traditional green bean casserole. We're going to be sauteing some green beans with bacon, garlic, shiitake mushrooms in a cream sauce and we're going to be topping it with some perfect onion rings. You can also just follow the recipe for the onion rings if you wish. This is a great side dish, it's also great on its own. I hope you enjoy it, let's get started. We are going to start by cutting the onion for the onion rings. Use one large yellow onion. Peel it and then cut it into one fourth of an inch sections. Then separate the rings. We're going to be using the outer bigger and medium rings and saving the center section to use in the green beans. Set the onion rings aside and finally chop the center sections. Chop 3 cloves of garlic. Wash 1 pound of green beans. Then trim the ends and cut them into 2 or 3 sections. Then trim and slice the shiitake mushrooms. Chop 3 or 4 slices of bacon. Heat up a large skillet and add the bacon. Saute for a few minutes. Then add the onion. Once the onion is nice and translucent and the bacon starts to crisp up, add the garlic. And now it's time to add the shiitake mushrooms. Saute the mushrooms for a few minutes. Add a drizzle of olive oil if the pan gets too dry. Next, add the green beans. Season with salt and fresh ground black pepper. Cover the pan and let the green beans steam for 2 to 3 minutes. Then add 3 quarters of a cup of heavy cream. Let the cream reduce for a few minutes. Then, taste and adjust the seasoning if needed. Set the beans aside at low heat to stay warm. Now, let's work on the onion rings. Add half cup of all-purpose flour into a bowl. Then, coat the onion rings with the flour. Next, season the leftover flour with a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Salt and fresh ground black pepper. Then add one beaten egg and just enough milk, about one third of a cup, to get a nice and soft batter. In another dish, add one cup of panko breadcrumbs. Dip the onion rings in the batter. Let the excess drip and then coat it with the breadcrumbs. Heat up a skillet with oil and fry the onion rings. Flip them half the way and fry until they're nice and golden. Drain them over some paper towel and sprinkle with some salt. To serve, add the green beans and top it with the onion rings. And it is time to eat. Bon appetit! I hope you have enjoyed the recipe. Please don't forget to like it, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel for more recipes to come. Thank you for watching.